Today we will talk about how to read and write decimals. Let's start with the simplest decimal that I can think of. 2.1. You read the whole number part, which is 2. When you see the decimal, you say end. Then you need you read the number after the decimal, which is 1. And the first digit is, this one is the tenth digit, T-E-N-T-H. Then you say 2 and 1 tenth. Now let's take a decimal with two digits after the decimal point. Procedure is the same. You read the whole number part, which is 3. When you see the decimal, you say end. Then you read the number after the decimal, which is 23. And this digit ends in the hundredth place. And this is hundredth place. So you say <coughs> 3 and 23 hundred. Let's try another one. Alright, again you read the whole number part which is 4 then you see the decimal which is N then you read the number in its entirety 200 43. Now you have to see where the last digit ends. And this one is the thousandth place. So you say 4n 200. Let's spell this right. 100. 4n 200. 43, now you go, 1000, and then you say th, and then since it's plural, you add s to it. Now, um, you need to then understand the order of the digits from left to right. after the decimal, the decimal point. Okay, so let's list, list them. You have tenths, you have hundredths, you have thousands, then the next one is going to be ten thousandths, hundred thousands then millions then you go to the next one ten millions hundred millions Then you go to billions, the next one, and so forth. So let's write a number. All right. To write this number, you go 2, and then you see the decimal from left to right we are reading. 2 end, 
Now you read the number in its entirety to the right of the decimal number, which is 4,000, 200, 68. Now you have to count. Let's count together in this order. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So we are in the hundred thousands place. So let's read it. Sixty-eight, hundred, thousand, ten 